You might think of fish as pretty helpless. You might think there are few that could beat you in a fight. After all, you've probably eaten fish, but there are some fish you should go nowhere near under any circumstances. These are the 15 most dangerous fish in the world. Number 15. Koi Dealing with invasive species is one of the problems that comes with globalization, and it's getting increasingly difficult to combat this problem in many parts of the world. 3,000 koi fish have swarmed the Colorado Lake, wiping out local species and drastically changing the ecosystem. It's unclear why, when, or how the fish appeared in the lake. The influx of exotic fish, not native to North America, appears to have started three years ago, and police think a local pet store is to blame. The fact that all of the fish appear to be around three years old appears to confirm this. If you see this fish on the ground, don't pick it up. Trust me, it's not a great idea. It should go without saying that dumping fish or any other alien species into a natural habitat is illegal, with potentially devastating repercussions. According to a local ranger, there are already three to 4,000 alien koi fish swimming in Colorado Lake. As their numbers increase, they will be able to outcompete native species and possibly force them out. changing the ecology as a whole. This isn't the first time such large quantities of fish have appeared in the area. After a few were presumably put there as unwanted pets, two or three years prior, 2,275 koi goldfish had to be rescued from Thunderbird Lake in Boulder in 2012. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. One thing is clear. If you see this fish on the ground, don't pick it up. Why? Because it's utterly, utterly horrifying. As you can see, it almost looks like it has a human face. This fish is truly one of a kind, and not a member of any known species. The lucky angler who found it, and we used the word lucky lightly, was a woman named Charlotte Grosvenor. After whipping this thing out of the river in South America, she jumped back in fear and horror. I mean, wouldn't you? Experts have studied this thing and just cannot figure out what it is. Some kind of freak of nature, that's for sure. Its exhumed corpse now resides in a museum, terrifying everyone who enters. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Pufferfish the pufferfish is, without a doubt, one of the most unusual animals in the world. Not only in the ocean, as any Minecraft fan would know, these clumsy-looking, slow-swimming fish have incredible defensive skills. When threatened, they quickly consume water or air, causing their loose skin to inflate up into a ball. and the numerous spikes that normally lie flat on the epidermis grow upright, making this a considerably less appealing feast. There are 120 species of pufferfish, all of which come in a variety of forms and sizes, with many of them sporting brilliant colors. As most people are aware, bright colors in the animal kingdom frequently serve as a warning, and this is the same with pufferfish. If a courageous or hungry predator can swallow all of those spikes, he or she will be in for a terrible surprise, as this aquatic hedgehog is also very toxic. In reality, each pufferfish contains a lethal dosage of tetrodotoxin, a poison 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide, and capable of killing 30 people with no antidote. So it may come as a surprise to learn that this incredibly deadly fish is a popular Japanese delicacy in which skilled chefs remove the poison poisonous portions of the fish, leaving only the safe bits. One wrong cut, on the other hand, spells certain death for the diner, and fugu lovers don't often make it home from the restaurant. A one-of-a-kind fish makes a one-of-a-kind, and fairly stressful, dinner. Number 13. 
Kandiru Among the numerous stories of strange, terrifying monsters that inhabit the Amazon River, the Kandiru fish stands out. Kandiru is a little catfish that is supposed to enter the intimate orifices of individuals who urinate in Amazonian rivers. The fish, according to folklore, mistakes human urine for water discharged from the gills of other fish. The Kandiru swims up into the poor individual's genitals to their dismay. Because of the spines on its head, it is difficult to remove. Amputation of the genital organs is frequently the only option to spare a person's life. Okay, how many of you just crossed your legs? Folklore claims that the Kandiru are capable of doing just that. In reality, extensive research has proven that the majority of this legend is most likely fiction. To begin with, Kandiru sees fish gills rather than smells them. Due to fluid mechanics, it's also difficult for them to swim up a stream of urine. Piranha bites are also believed to have resulted in amputations in human genitals. Finally, the sole recent reported instance of a Kandiru purportedly swimming into a man's urethra is thought to be a fake. Number 12. Red Lionfish the lionfish is a predatory kind of scorpion fish, with its menacing colors of red, white, and black stripes all over its body, as well as an abundance of deadly toxic needles radiating from it. It is indeed a spectacle to experience. The lionfish is a ferocious fighter and a formidable predator, with a voracious appetite for anything small enough to pass between its jaws, despite the fact that sharks and enormous sea worms have been seen battling this fishy warship, they have no natural predators. In their native environment, the reefs, corals, and lagoons of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, lionfish numbers are mainly held under control. In 1992, Hurricane Andrew struck the Florida shore, wreaking havoc and damaging an aquarium, among other things. As a result of this, six lionfish were released into the Caribbean, quickly establishing themselves as one of the most hazardous invasive species, aggressively preying on unsuspecting native species, and expanding to considerably bigger sizes than previously reported. They've already expanded throughout the Western Atlantic, leaving destruction in their wake, and environmentalists are trying to keep the unstoppable lionfish from spreading much further. Number 11. Arapaima Pireruku and Peish are some of the names given to the gigantic Arapaima. They're especially impressive because they're the world's biggest freshwater fish, measuring in at 9.8 in length. They occur in South America and have long been regarded as a valuable food source, but their delectability has worked against them since they are currently gravely endangered by overfishing. Piraruku is a Portuguese word that means red fish and refers to the red patterns that emerge on its scales. There are four species in this genus, according to the Fish Greek Paradise website, fishbase.com. Isn't it fantastic that there's a location called Fishbase where you can keep track of all your fishy facts and figures? Anyway, the largest of them are absolutely huge, weighing up to 440 pounds, or the equivalent of a horse. However, these are only the ones we've seen. Locals have reported finding specimens up to 15 feet long. Fish, crustaceans, fruits, seeds, insects, and small land creatures that stroll near the beach are all favorites of these fish. It can breathe air, which is useful in the low oxygen water of the Amazon River, where they reside. Number 10. Tigerfish the Goliath tigerfish is another predatory monster fish with a frightening name that should be enough to convince you that this is not a fish to be trifled with. They are also known as Mabenga and reside in the Congo River Basin. They may grow to be about 5 feet long and weigh over 110 pounds. And they have massive teeth that can be up to an inch long and fit into specific grooves in the jaws of this large fish when the mouth is closed. If any Swahili Swahili speakers are watching today, they will be able to confirm that Mabenga is Swahili for dangerous fish, and you have to appreciate Swahili speakers for keeping it clean and descriptive. This is a highly hazardous fish that has a history of attacking people. 
This isn't a case where we claim the creature is more scared of you or that it will leave you alone if you leave it alone. This is a really furious fish, and locals say it is possessed by an evil spirit that causes it to attack people. As a result, it is regarded as one of the world's best game fish and a tremendous reward for any angler. Number 9. Moray Eel Morays attack their victim using a hidden pair of choppers, much like the creature from the Alien movie. The eel's prey is captured inside the gullet, thanks to a pair of concealed pharyngeal jaws. Unlike other predatory fish, morays use a two-step method to pull food down their throats. The outer jaws grab the thing first and secure it. The pharyngeal set then jumps forward, bites the unfortunate victim, and pulls it down into the throat. The largest species is the gigantic moray, as its name implies. Although there have been unsubstantiated reports of massive 10-footers hiding someplace, the largest recorded individuals were around 8 feet long and 66 pounds. These species have been spotted in the Red Sea, off the coast of East Africa, and all the way through the Indo-Pacific. The wandering coral grouper, with which it shares the Red Sea, is a quick killer that's well suited to open water hunts. Opposites, on the other hand, do occasionally attract. A grouper will sometimes invite a moray out on a cooperative hunting trip. When a carnivore sees an eel, it shakes its head rapidly to attract the attention of its new companion. When a moray wriggles across a rough reef and a grouper hovers overhead, small animals have nowhere to hide and at least one predator eats. Number 8. Red-Bellied Piranha The red-bellied piranha is a world-famous and dreaded fish. Early expeditions claimed to have discovered a tiny fish with razor-sharp teeth and a shoal capable of stripping a cow to the bone in minutes. The piranha is a scavenger, and this fish, which has a red belly, also enjoys nipping pieces out of the tails of much larger fish, which is pretty gnarly. The piranha generally swims in a school of about 20 fish, each of which is approximately 12 inches long and weighs roughly 4 pounds. The strong muscles that operate the small jaw with the distinctive overbite and razor-sharp triangular teeth are seen beneath the unmistakable high brow. They fit perfectly with the top set because of their triangular shape. This allows piranhas to have incredibly strong bites, as well as their well-known ability to shred flesh. In fact, in terms of body size, this bite is one of the most powerful of any vertebrate. Human attacks are prevalent, and warning signs are placed in areas where piranhas have been seen swimming. The majority of assaults result in mild to severe injuries, although minors are particularly vulnerable, and deaths have happened, notably an 18-year-old man who was devoured by piranhas in Brazil in 2011. It remains to be known whether or not the legend of a red-bellied piranha's ability to skeletonize a person or cow's body in seconds are genuine. Regardless of the situation, they are pretty dangerous fish. Number 7. Goonch Fish the giant devil catfish is another name for the goonch catfish, which I think is a really fantastic description. This is a massive catfish that may be found in rivers across the Indian subcontinent. Fast-flowing rivers with deep pools, such as those found in the Indus and Ganges basins, as well as most of southern India east of the Western Ghats, are ideal for it. It used to dwell in Southeast Asian rivers, but it is now extinct there. It may reach a length of 6'6", and a weight of 220 pounds, making it one of the genus's biggest species. The goonch catfish is plentiful, however its numbers are falling as a result of dam construction and hydropower facilities, which are damaging river habitats. This is a fish with a terrible reputation in India, where it is known as the Bastar shark. It is also the species responsible for the Kali River goonch attacks, which occurred between 1998 and 2007 and were a series of attacks by man-eating goonch catfish. Number 6. Alligator Gar 
An alligator gar is one of North America's biggest freshwater fish. This fish has been present for at least 100 million years, according to the fossil records. Therefore, it is generally considered a living fossil. They exhibit several basic traits from that time period, such as the capacity to breathe both air and water, and an intestine with a spiral valve. In a world where everyone else drives a Toyota, this is the Lamborghini of fish. Their large snouts packed with teeth that resemble those of an alligator gave them their name. These fish may grow to be quite large, with alligator gar reaching a length of up to 10 feet. They had a bad reputation as a trash fish in the early 20th century, and they were slaughtered in large numbers. But today, conservation efforts have resurrected the species, and it is once again thriving. Number 5. Stingray Stingrays are flat, disc-shaped animals with wing-like fins. Stingrays may be found in both freshwater and saltwater environments. Their sting is a typical beachgoer injury. They're most generally linked with tropical water conditions. Like a whip, the tail of a stingray is long, slender, and tapered. One or more barbed spines are hidden beneath a sheath at the tail's end. Each spine carries venom, and the stingray's tail sting may be quite severe. Stingrays aren't usually harmful, and they're known for being gentle. In the shallows, they frequently dig beneath the sand and swim in the open water. Stingrays will only sting if they are disturbed or if they are trodden on by unsuspecting swimmers. Stingray stings may be avoided in most cases. However, if you are stung by a stingray, there are a few things you may do to relieve the agony. When you're stung by a stingray, you'll experience tremendous agony right away. If the cut is only superficial, you should treat it straight away. Do not attempt to remove the barb if it has perforated your throat, neck, abdomen, or chest or if it has pierced your body entirely. As soon as possible, seek emergency medical help. Number 4. Electric Eel the huge electrical charge these well-known freshwater predators can produce to shock prey and deter predators gives them their name. Electric organs with around 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes that store electricity like small batteries are found in their bodies. These cells will all fire at the same time if they are threatened or if they are attacking prey. They eat mostly fish, but sometimes amphibians, birds, and small mammals. In the murky streams and ponds, of South America's Amazon and Orinoco basins. They must come to the surface regularly since they are air breathers. They have weak eyesight as well, but they can produce a low-level charge under 10 volts that they utilize to navigate and locate prey, similar to radar. Electric eels may grow to be over 8 feet long and weigh 44 pounds. They have long cylindrical bodies with flattened heads that are dark green or gray on the top and yellowish below. Electric eel attacks on humans are exceedingly rare. Multiple shocks, on the other hand, can induce respiratory or cardiac collapse, and people have been known to drown in shallow water after receiving a powerful jolt. Number 3. Snakeheads Snakeheads are feared in the West, where invasive species populations of the violent fish have occasionally taken root. A northern snakehead was discovered in Maryland Pond by a fisherman, causing a media frenzy. The huge freshwater fish, according to biologists, could easily establish itself in North America, wreaking havoc on native ecosystems. The ferocious top-level predators may grow to be three feet long. They eat insects, frogs, and smaller fish, but while they're mating, they're known to attack anything moving. Snakeheads are able to breathe air and can survive for up to four days without water. Burrowing into the mud allows them to withstand considerably longer times of drought. Several species of the fish are endemic to most of Asia, where they are widely fished and highly sought for consumption. They're very popular as aquarium fish, and they're a of nature is well known. Number 2. Payara 
The piranha may be the Amazon's most famous fish, but the payara is a particular fish that merits equal attention. Due to the two huge fangs in its mouth, it is also known as the saber-toothed tigerfish and the water wolf. Unlike the piranha, which is an omnivorous scavenger, it is a predatory carnivore. Payaras are a kind of dog-toothed tetra with enormous teeth that they utilize to impale their food, which is usually smaller fish. These fish have fan-shaped fins that allow them to move quickly in fast-moving currents. The payara has a big face in relation to its size, and their gills are buried behind it. They may grow to be 3 feet 8 long and weigh up to 40 pounds. They have a normal set of sharp and spiky dagger-like teeth in their gums, in addition to those huge fangs. The fangs themselves may reach a length of 6 inches or more, and the fish has specific openings in its upper jaw to hold them. They have caudal fins that resemble a fan, which offer them greater speed and stability in turbulent seas. and they are created for forceful, fast swimming in choppy waters. Despite their dreadful reputation, they are a popular aquarium fish in certain big tanks. Vampire fish may appear to be right out of a horror film, but the good news is that they are harmless to humans. They aren't gonna eat you. Number 1. Stonefish the stonefish is the world's most venomous fish, with venom sacs in each of its spines that release venom when pressure is applied to the body. Because it resembles a stone or coral with pink specks, it's easy to ignore and many people have been harmed by the stonefish's severe and often fatal sting. Because treading on a stonefish by mistake is a very regular and highly unpleasant event for Australian swimmers, beaches in Australia contain supplies of vinegar, which reduces the venom's effect. Despite this, a stonefish may be readily cooked as food, since once the venomous spines are removed, the majority of the fish is non-poisonous and rather delicious. It's been a favorite dish in Asia for a long time, and it can even be eaten as raw sashimi. Another unique feature of the stonefish is its capacity to live up to 24 hours out of water, which is considerably longer than most other fish can manage. So the next time you encounter a strange-looking rock, whether in or out of the water, Think twice before walking on it. The venom of stonefish is made up of enzymes and non-enzymatic proteins. Stonefish venom's method of action isn't entirely understood. The venom of the reef stonefish and the estuar in stonefish is distinct. To alleviate discomfort, use hot water, but medical attention should be sought. Which of these crazy fish would you hate to meet in a dark alley? Have you ever had a weird fish in your aquarium? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!